So robots should obey our laws, and that includes all of our social covenants. And it also means that robot builders, technologists, should have a responsibility to consider all of the social ramifications of the rollout of their technology and to construct policy that will help us inform our social framework. Our legal and social frameworks are designed to adapt and evolve. They are not fixed. Technologists cannot claim that innovation exists in some Switzerland-like realm of neutrality. We can't afford to be bystanders anymore either because the current wave of common robots is starting to reach every area of our lives and they have a vast array of inputs or sensors and are starting to be capable of taking a range of actions, even without physical manipulation. Robots have face recognition, eye tracking, emotion detection, voice recognition, natural language processing, object recognition, obstacle avoidance, mapping, path planning. Not to mention the things that common robots can do by being connected to the cloud, i.e. remotely access your calendars, Google things, connect with Mechanical Turk. So robots are becoming potentially effective in the world. Robots now have access to a whole range of data, technical, environmental, social, and personal. We may not be ready for humanoid robots yet, but there are hundreds and thousands of these mobile, semi-autonomous platforms moving into the world today. Some operate completely autonomously. Many have humans in the loop. Robots have left the factory, and they're entering the real world with an impact. Dr. Gil Pratt from the DARPA Robotics Challenge said that robotics is having a Cambrian explosion. Now, for 3,000 million years, life was primarily single-celled organisms. And then in one-tenth of that time, we went from, to plants, to fish, to dinosaurs, to the first mammals. And biologists theorize that this happened because vision, simple vision, became possible, and that allowed an increasing array of more complex organisms. Robotics is happening right now because we've hit a certain critical evolutionary tipping point. The low cost of sensors, the increasing intelligence, augmented by ubiquitous connectivity. And this is all leading to improvements in the mobility and manipulation of the environment.